Hail Hail from Celtic Park. Make sure and like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also buy my merch. Link in the bio of Irish Mick official shop. Thank you very much. God bless. Keep it positive. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to vlog number four. Uh, I've just arrived at Belgrove. You're probably noticing I've got my new merch. Uh, I'm wearing it right now. That would be correct. Um, make sure and get the hottest merch on YouTube. Link below. Link in bio. Click it. Go, go, go. So as always, i um, just arrived at Belgrove. Uh, standard. As you know, I like to get in nice and early for you. Um, it's 10 past six now, so what I'm gonna do is, just the usual, gonna get a wee burger, you know. Beef or chicken, I suppose you're going to have to stick around and find out. But yeah, what do you guys think of the new merch? A last minute design change. Um, I put the letter in slightly to the left because I just thought, well, why be the same as everyone else, you know? Um, why not be different? And that's the marketing hashtag that I used, you know, dare to be different. So, you know, why not? Why be, why be the same as everyone else, you know? Anybody who's, who subscribes to me, and anybody who's in the Irish Mick gang and in the notification squad knows that, um, you know, don't be afraid to dream and don't be afraid to be different. And it doesn't matter, you know, whatever your dreams are in life or whatever you do in life, never let anybody get you down. I'm gonna get a wee drink, um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite thirsty. You just never know who you're gonna bump into in the shops and you never know whose uh, year you might make. Gonna get a wee boost, guys. To be honest with you, I could do with a wee boost. I'm quite tired. Hopefully, it livens me up a wee bit. Hi, buddy. Just a wee boost, please. I could do with a wee boost. I'm quite tired. Hopefully, it gives me energy for the match, yeah? <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a good day, yeah? Guys, let's try cross the road. Um, I tried to cross the road like two seconds ago, and I nearly got knocked down by a bus. So, that wouldn't really be a great start to the vlog, would it? I'd be sitting in the Royal Infirmary. Yes, we successfully crossed the road. Great success! Okay, let's uh, let's get a burger. I'm quite hungry. I'm not gonna lie. I've not had one since when? Was it the? I didn't have one for the St. Johnson game. It was the Cowdrew match, wasn't it? So I, I've been craving one since then, to be honest with you. But do you know what? Let's switch it up a wee bit. Let's actually order it. Um, let's film myself ordering it. Why not? Um, I'm sure they wouldn't have a problem with that, right? Because I'm just filming myself, obviously. But. Uh, yeah, let's go for it, guys. I'll see you then. Hi there, ladies. Um, could I have a cheeseburger, please? Yes. Thank you. Back again with another taste test for you guys. I'm not going to open it up for you because the roll is actually in two halves, so obviously it'll fall, so I don't want that to happen. So, yeah, let's get a wee taste test. So, ladies and gentlemen, back again with another taste test for you guys. Um, it's been a while. I've not had one since the Cowju match, but uh, I'm representing out here. I'm representing, you know, wearing the merch. Link in bio. But, um... Yeah, let's have a taste test, shall we? Mmm! Absolutely beautiful. No ketchup, as you can see. No sauce. Try to keep the old uh, calories down, you know? But, um, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's go to the Celtic way. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Just passing the old, um, hats and flag stand. Get your hats and scarves. Get your hats and scarves. But, um, what do you think guys with the new uh, merch that is out, link in bio, link in bio, don't forget. Um, should Irish Mick get his own wee stand? What do you think? Do you think, let me give you a wee glimpse into the future, possibly. Get your Irish Mick merch, get your Irish Mick merch. One for 14.98, two for 50 quid. Just um, arrived, just outside the stadium now. Perfect time to put the sunglasses on. Um, what do you think? We're twins. Definitely twins there, but um, yeah, I'd just like to say thanks very much from the bottom of my heart for the 5,000 views on the last video. I mean, that was absolutely mad. I never expected something like that so early. Um, and again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you haven't uh, subscribed already, please do so. It really helps me out a lot, as does um, if you like, share, and subscribe as well. And hit that goddamn notification bell so you never miss a video and join the notification squad. Um, you know, that would really help me out a lot, guys. I don't think, if I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I'll get 5,000 views again. I think that was a one-off. But you know what, who knows? Maybe you guys might surprise me. I'm just happy, look, as long as we keep growing, um, 
day by day, week by week, I'm happy with that. I'm more focused on subscribers, to be honest. Um, if we can hit 250 by, by the next match. <laughs> Just outside of Celtic Park for the first time with the new merch, repping the new merch, you know, link in bio. <laughs> It's the first time I've ever used a printer home ticket in a vlog, so hopefully um, it beeps first time, but let's check it out. Come on, let's find out. As you can see, it's quite long. It's almost as long as Ranger's tax bill before they died. Here goes nothing, guys. All right, we're in.
Yeah! Come on! Come on! On your bio, yeah. And there goes the 40 million jackpot. Good night, Eileen. Good night. God bless. Every cloud has a silver lining. Um, I finished tonight. Celtic didn't get a win, but I got a win. I got a sandwich in the late night shop, so it's not all bad, is it? But um, I'll see you on the train. Just back in Edinburgh now. Um, going to finish up this vlog for you guys. What can I say overall? Disappointing result, you know, but look, I'm seeing a lot of things on social media and people on the train and at the match, you know, like I said earlier, throwing the scarves on the pitch and people shouting for Lenny out and all this and you know criticizing people it's easy to criticize people when we're down and out you know I think we should uh, we should stick by the, we should stick by the boys you know uh, um, it's very easy to you know be supportive and all that when we're winning but it's much harder when we're losing and tonight it was very tough to take but you know what we'll take it on the chin and we'll move on um, and we'll come back stronger, you know. We're a Glasgow Celtic, we'll be back again. And every setback is only a launch pad for a comeback. And all you have to do is look throughout our history, you know, we've had some bad results in Europe, but we've always come back stronger. And that's what we'll do again, you know. And anybody shouting for Lenny out and all that, and the board out and all that, you know, they're absolute lunatics, to be honest with you. You know, the reality, the reality is um, our board members um, I don't think they get enough credit to be honest with you you know we're very lucky in the sense that our board members uh, our board actually runs the club very well you know and I actually don't think they, I don't think they get enough praise for it with the platform that I have it would be very easy for me to be ultra negative and shout for people out and you know be negative and this player needs to go and the manager needs to go and the board needs to go. It'd be very easy for me to say that, but you know what? It's not what I'm about. And it's not what Celtic fans are about, the majority, you know? 99% of us, the Celtic family. It's not the Celtic way. Um, and we'll, you know, we will come back stronger and we will take this on a chain. And it's gonna make us better, you know? It hurts, don't get me wrong, it really hurts. It really, really hurts, you know? But we will come back stronger. We'll be back. We're Glasgow Celtic. The reality is, look, we've got three domestic trophies to fight for. And we're still in the Europa League, you know? It's like, you know, it's not, it really isn't the end of the world. Edinburgh seems to be having a party tonight. Irish Mick certainly isn't in the mood for a party. But um, I just feel like going to bed, but I can't need to edit this video for you guys. So we'll be ready for tomorrow morning. But you know what? It was a tough result tonight. We'll take it on the chain. You know, we'll support our team, we'll keep it positive 
and we, we will come back stronger. You know, my message to any Celtic fans, keep it positive. My message to players, heads up boys, keep it positive, you know. Um, we will come back stronger. And my message to the fans, back Lenny, back the board.